hi beautiful people of god all praises to the most high so this is a lot of information and a lot of scriptures so i'm going to break this video up in a few parts all right god will save the t the tribe of judah first and he just wants me to explain this the land of israel named after the man of israel israel means fighter of god so in ezekiel 33 and 24 it tells you son of man they that inhabit those ways of the land of israel speak saying abraham was one and he inherited the land but we are many the land is given us for inheritance so the children of israel that's their inheritance right so as the land of israel is named after the man israel Z the land of zion is named after the woman zion the land of zion is zion and zion means highest point and the pure in heart are in zion so also the pure in heart and the land of Israel, the it name Israel means fighter of God. All right? The children of Israel are fighter, fighters of God. The children of Zion are pure in heart, like the daughter of Zion. Now, as you can see, we're just going to, it's the land of Zion, Doctrine and Covenants 133 and 4. Wherefore, prepare ye, prepare ye, O my people, sanctify yourselves, gather yourselves together, O ye, ye people of my church, upon the land of Zion, all you that have not been commanded to tarry. Now, God, about God fighting for the children of Judah and saving the children of Judah first, all right? Zechariah 2 and 12. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the Holy Land and shall choose Jerusalem again. The Holy Land is the, is the land of Zion and Jerusalem who he choose is daughter Zion. That's why it says he shall choose the tribe of Judah first. You can read that in Psalms. He chose the tribe of Judah and Jerusalem, which he loved, the daughter of Zion, right? Now, Zechariah 12 and 7, the Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first and the glory of the house of David, daughter of Zion comes from the house of David, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So the children of Israel, the other tribes do not magnify themselves against the children of Judah nor the house of David who God chose to be the king and at, for, for who God chose to be the queen all right now Hosea 1 and 7 how is God going to f um, fight and deliver the children of Judah and daughter Zion all right you know she has the day of vengeance and God is jealous of her with great fury if you've been reading the scriptures Hosea 1 and 7, but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and will save them. So th he doesn't say the house of Israel. He doesn't say the children of Israel. He says the house of Judah. All right. I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and will save them by the Lord their God and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, nor by horsemen. So then he say he's going to save the tents of Judah first. All right, and the daughter, the house of David, the daughter of Zion, listen and take this up with fasting. Psalm sixty nine and thirty five. For for God will save Zion, the woman, and will build the cities of Judah, and they that they may dwell there and have it in possession. That is why he's saving the tents of Judah first, for the glory of the house of David. Why? For he, God will save Zion, will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and have it in possession. Habakkuk 3 and 13. Thou went forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thy anointed. Daughter Zion is anointed. Thou wounds the head out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Selah. Isaiah 31 and 4. For thus says the Lord God, for, says has the Lord spoken unto me like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them so shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for for the hill thereof it doesn't talk about the holy hill of Zion God's coming to fight for daughter Zion and the children of Judah and he's going to put on his arm, his garments of vengeance. All right. Now, Micah 4 and 10. Be in pain o la and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now thou shalt go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, 
and thou shalt go even to Babylon, there shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. Whose saving daughter Zion? God himself. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hands of thy enemies. What does he say to the children of Judah? He's going to save them. I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and will save them by the Lord, their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, or, nor by horsemen. He's going to do it himself, just like he tells daughter Zion separately that he's going to redeem her from the hands of her enemies. Isaiah 34 and 8, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. And Isaiah 62 and 1, for for Zion's sake, will I not hold my peace? So God's telling you for what they did to his daughter, he's not holding his peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the right, the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. That's why he says he's going to place salvation in Zion. There's always a savior to deliver the children of Israel out of captivity. There was Moses. There was Deborah. There's always someone, there was Esther. God always chooses someone to deliver his people out of captivity of his people. This time he chose Zion. To That's why he says he placed salvation in Zion. We'll get there. Doctrine and covenants, 103 and 15 to 18. Behold, I say unto you, the redemption of Zion, the woman, must need come by power. God's power. For ye are the children of Israel. And of the seed of Abraham, and you must needs be led out of bondage by power and with a stretched out arm. Didn't God say he's going to stretch out his arms to the nations? This is why. And as your fathers were led at the first, even so shall the redemption of Zion be. So God's going to save daughter Zion with his stretched out hand and by his power, just like he saved the children of Israel. What did he tell them? For you are the children of Israel. And of the seed of Abraham, and you must needs be led out of bondage by power and with a stretched out arm. That's why he says he's not going to hold his, hold his peace. Okay? Zechariah 12 and 6. In that day will I make the governor, the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a sheaf. And they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. Zechariah 12 and 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as God and the angel of the Lord before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Then he say, whoever fights against Zion shall perish. Whoever comes against Jerusalem, it's the same thing. Zechariah 12 and 10, and I will pour out upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplication, and they shall look unto me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for his only son. And they shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Joel 3 and, y, 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Zechariah 8 and 2. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy and I was jealous for her with great fury and Zach, Psalms 102 and 13 thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yeah the said time has come now God is going to place his salvation in Zion so she's the one to deliver Isaiah 46 and 13 I will bring near my righteousness it shall not be far off and my salvation shall not tarry and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory that's why it says um, o Zion who brings good tittings she's the one who's going to be delivered first that's why it says the kingdom comes to her first she's going to be on holy mount Zion first all right that's why he said he placed salvation in Zion 
Isaiah 62 and 1. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof burn as a lamp that burneth. Now, about God fighting, oh, I'm going to read this, and then it goes into God fighting for these people. Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Why are they because daughter Zion is on the mountain of the Lord that brings good tiddings? Get you up into the high mountains, O Zion, who brings good tiddings. So the people are going to come after. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Isaiah 59 and 16. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his arm brought brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him. Where does salvation come out of? Zion. I will bring near my righteousness it shall not be far off and my salvation shall not tarry. I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. So God went out, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he saw that there was no man and no intercessor. Sorry, I read that. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate. This is God going to fight for Zion and to redeem the children of Judah. And a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clayed with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, according to accordingly will repay fury to his adversaries. Didn't he say with, he's jealous with Zion for great fury onto her enemies? What he's going to do to them? He's going to repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the isles. He will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. And his glory, the west or which countries, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that return, that turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord God. So the redeemer, God is the redeemer. He's coming to Zion. He says in many scriptures that he's going to redeem her. And by her redemption, it has to be done by power. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of the mouth of thy, out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, says the Lord from henceforth and forever. Now, Isaiah 52 and 9, break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. Then it say he's going to redeem, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion. Put on thy holy garments, their beautiful garments, Zion. Um, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Joel 3 and 17. So shall you know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy. That's why he says put on her holy garments, her beautiful garments. And no more will the unclean and the uncircumcised come into her. Be holy. And there shall, not, there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. Psalms 102 and 60, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. I, Psalms 53 and 6, oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Isaiah 52 and 8, the watchmen shall lift up their voice with the voice together. They shall sing for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord brings back. Bring again Zion. And it talks about God again. Oh, sorry, I have that scripture there twice. Isaiah 46 and 13. I will bring my righteousness. I will bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. And my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. 
Isaiah 83, I, Zechariah 8 and 3. Thus says the Lord, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Micah 4 and 8. And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Now, I, Psalms 14 and 7, O that salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and, is, and Israel shall be glad. It's also in Psalms 53. Zach, Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now, Isaiah 40 and 9. O Zion, that brings good tittens, get thee up into the high mountain. Which high mountain is that? Mount Zion. O Jerusalem, that brings good tittings, lift up thy voice with strength. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Awake, awake, O Zion. Put on thy strength and thy beautiful garments. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. That's why it says, Say, Zion, your God reigns. Now, Zephaniah 3 and 14. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all thy heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Isaiah 16 and 1, send ye the lamb, the ruler of the land from Selah to the wilderness unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. I'm going to stop there.